Hey everybody, I'm Delicia. Thanks for tuning in to my weekly and very relaxed Sunday top five today. Starting with number five, these are the cigars of course that I'm recommending for your week of smoking. Hopefully you give them a shot. Starting with number five, we have La Galera Connecticut. This is a beautiful blend coming out of the Dominican Republic. It's featuring an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and Dominican binder and fillered. With this one, you're getting notes of uh, buttered crackers. You get the nice uh, cedar, somewhat earthy. You do get a little bit of, um, I mentioned, a kind of a creamy feel to it, as well as a very light spice, more on the mild side as far as overall body and um, strength on this one. Number four this week is going out to the Macanudo Maduro. This is another one coming straight out of the Dominican Republic. It's featuring a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper, Mexican San Andres binder, and then Dominican Piloto Cubano and Mexican filler. So this one you're getting the nice pronounced chocolate, dark chocolate notes, uh, dried cherry. Uh, you do get a little bit of an oaky profile and then a mixture of a cinnamon little bits of black pepper and a leathery profile to it. So really nice. Um, again, I like the combination of the Connecticut broadleaf with the Mexican San Andres. So you get a lot of those very rich, rich notes. Definitely a, a well-priced and uh, well-made Maduro. Number three is going out to the LFD Reserva Especial. Another one coming out of the DR. This is a beautiful Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, Nicaragua binder, and then Dominican Piloto Cubano also on the filler. This one is somewhat creamy. It's a lighter stick, especially coming out of the LFD factory. You still get a spicy undertone, light, uh, more of a white pepper. Sometimes you get the cinnamon in and out of there, but it's on the lighter side. It also has kind of a, a leathery profile to it. Uh, somewhat nutty on the characteristics, again, as you go throughout the cigar, the first, second, and third. But um, again, looking for um, more of a mild to medium stick, this is going to be something that you want to have a, you know, cup of coffee with, something like that. But a very good stick. Again, lighter for the LFD fans. This is definitely more of the, the morning type of a stick. Number two is returning from last week. This is the Villager La Vencedora. Really great stick. Loved the flavors on this one. It is a Nicaraguan puro coming out of the Hoya de Nicaragua factory. Uh, first for Villager as far as a full-bodied premium stick. This one's offering notes of wood, pepper, espresso. You get dried fruit, black peppercorn, leather. Um, it's very flavorful. It has a lot of different transitions throughout again the first second and third and again fuller bodied So definitely I tried to pick some cigars that were both ends of the spectrum So a couple of the lighter ones and then a couple of the mediums and fuller body This one definitely is the fuller body, but very flavorful And number one this week is going out to the Davidoff. This is the late hour Robusto a uh, beautiful stick, uh, both aesthetically and to smoke. I was a big fan of this one. Again, love the whole Winston Churchill profile, all of that. It's a lot of fun. But taking a closer look, this one has a... It's an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro Marron wrapper. Uh, very flavorful on that one. And then a, a Mexican San Andres binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. This one, you're getting the woodsy, the hints of citrus, actually like an orange peel citrus, cinnamon. You do get a little bit of um, kind of a creamy mocha, um, hints of pepper, hints of cinnamon. Again, with that, I always pu pull out the Mexican San Andres. You get the, the chocolate, you get the spice. It's all mixed. You get a little bit of earthy, a little bit of leather. This one has a lot of different flavor notes in it. So very, again, very flavorful throughout the enti entire stick and beautiful construction as well. Um, just a gorgeous looking wrapper. It's very shiny, uh, flawless really. It's not very toothy. It just has minimal um, veins in it. It's just a real pretty, rich looking, almost like a snicker bar kind of. Very pretty on this one. So again, try to pick out some different varieties for you this week. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in and I love to hear your feedback. 
Thanks for hanging out with your Sunday with me, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.